Okay, great. Today we want to look at how our system works. This is an automatic report card generation system. This system uh, makes your work simple as a teacher. It will automatically generate your report card in a unique way to suit an individual child. Not in one document, but each child will have a single document built on it. So now the first thing that you need to do is you need to enroll the school. You need just to enroll the school. We are going to enroll the school. The school is Nesa Trust School. Okay, Nesa Trust School. The school is located 15 miles along the Sakakawa Road. The moment you just enroll the school here, just quickly move on to the interspace. You need now to do what? You need. Okay, the moment you are done uh, enrolling your school here, because that's the first thing, the first thing you need to do is to enroll your school so that in other forms, in other areas, your school will be recognized. You just go to enter, then it will take you to the dashboard. The school that you enrolled will basically come here straight, just here. Then now, under our enrollment, it says enroll the learners. I'm sure we are going to focus on Prince Moene. That's the name we're going to focus on. We've already enrolled him. He attended school for 56 days. Now we move on and get to the dashboard where we can be able to see and find different subjects. This is designed in a way that you will feel as our, our, our customer. Now, let's move on to mathematics. We are, we're just going to fill up areas that we did enter for Prince Money. In mathematics, they did enter some subjects. Here, you maybe go 25. The midterm tests, the math tests, are calculated in percentage form. So now, these are calculated. This, this is the upper, upper uh, primary system. We are just focusing on the upper primary system. Our system incorporates grade one, grade two, grade three to save it. If the school has got grade eight and nine. We add a patch. If the school has got to 10 and 12, we add a patch. A full set of a system that you would want to be calculating from 3 to grade 12, it's already there, which doesn't need you to buy a very advanced computer. Nothing. It can work minimum operating system, Windows 7. The minimum uh, Microsoft Office package is Microsoft 2013 then you are good to go. So now, let us just quickly finish up these, these parts of sure mathematics. It was entered. We go to CTS. CTS, we are just going to enter 26, 55. Boy, okay. It keeps on improving. Then we go to 123 here. Okay. Then at least we need to make one subject as, uh, as a fail. Okay, this one is already entered. Move to special paper two. Let's take for example, go 25, 40, uh, 5, 22. Then here he got maybe 75, 75, or let's say 78. Okay, good. Then we check some other subject. Which one? Which one do I think? Okay, maybe integration science is not entered. 80, 88, 90, and here he got one. You know very well to say at grade 7 level, the grading system of the ECZ has got the values up to 150. Now, move back to our dashboard. This is basically programmed using VBA programs. So this system, you need to understand everything, read all the instructions. Then after that, push your button to the report card. The moment you click the report card, you'll be able to find all learners that you have enrolled to. The moment you click on F10, you will find the list of learners. We've got Prince, the first one there on the top, we've got about three. This is Masie Temwani, the grade five. These are these results. Uh, okay, days present, we didn't enter. We move to the next one, also the same, we didn't enter anything. This is how it has calculated. Then when we come to grade uh, to number three, also we didn't enter anything. Then let's go to the fourth one, Prince Mwene. Here is the calculation, distinctions all over. And all the tests have been filled up. And this 
this mark which is here it is calculated according to the ECZ standard it is not calculating everything but it is calculating best six that simply means best five 